start out with a little Kai rum, uh, Dominican Republic rum. It is flavored with ginger, which is fantastic. Now, isn't that strange, though, that a rum incorporates that ginger flavors? Which I really like. I think Kai rum should be in every sushi restaurant across the country no. because I'll of be ginger joke. Of <laughs> also going to put a little Hiram Walker ginger uh, liqueur in as Adds well. To Adds to the flavor a little bit. And what I did, we froze some honey and ginger cubes. I do, as you see, have a couple of chilled martini glasses here. Now, what do you gel them with so people can see? I mean, it's a great idea as you make a martini because it's not on the rocks or something. You want the glass kind of cold. Now, I put a couple in the freezer and they broke. But what, how did you chill those glasses? With those glasses, I just use a little ice and water um, just to chill it down. It, it brings it to you where- You just put them in, you pour it out, and then you start. So. Correct. And you've got a nice chilled glass. It keeps all of your beverages cold. You're starting out with a nice chilled martini. Would you say your martini will be kind of on the uh, deep freeze? <laughs> it will be on the deep <laughs> freeze. I'm very good. Now, you started with the ice cube you said that you had made. And then we're using the Kai rum with the ginger uh, from Dominican Republic. Great rum uh, with the Hiram Walker. And then just like that is a martini. Up and easy. Nice ginger flavored martini. This is easy, great drinking. Very simple. Well, we were here last night at the Hot Mixology Lounge and you were tasting this. That's why the bottle's about like that. If, uh, if you can see that. Huh. That's how the bottle's I don't know. With this, I like to do just a simple garnish. A little lemon, wi uh, lemon wheel. And... That is it. Please pass go. that around. I will pass it around.